Welcome to May. This is your general reading that will cover the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the best part of the month, the biggest challenge, and then guidance and give you your crystal of the month that'll help you get through it um, as unscathed and as easy as possible, okay? It'll help you with all the things that you need. So um, this is for your sun sign. Career videos are gonna look like this and they'll come out soon. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you know when they come out. They are for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you um, why that is if you're not sure and then love videos come out halfway through the month and this is what they're gonna look like okay so let's get started if you're interested in what decks i'm using for this reading i've got the cosmic tribe tarot looks like this and then the angel prayers oracle by kyle gray um if you purchase them through the affiliate links down below i might get a couple cents which would be helpful in me continuing to make these videos because youtube pays you like I don't know, $20 a year. <laughs> um, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I would appreciate that if you're interested in buying a deck. And so, Aquarius. You know, before I even start this, I just wanna say your crystal of the month is pyrite. And I just recently got some really adorable pyrite cubes. And my Aquarius child, right before I sat down to do this reading, said, ooh, mom, where'd you get these? So I feel like super, super good about pyrite for Aquarius. I feel super good about the, about the recommended stone for each sign this month, but hey Aquarius that's like for real I think that's a sign so let's get to your reading the oh um this is what the the post that tells you all about what pyrite does looks like if you look for it on my blog because I'm not going to waste a lot of time talking about what it does but if you're looking for money and the money reading obviously hasn't come out yet maybe next week it will um that that is a really good abundance manifester just an FYI okay general theme for Aquarius you and other people or you and like a business, um, you know, whatever, but you and something or someone else don't have the same end goal in mind, the same vision for what the outcome should be. And so you're really focused on that. Um, you're focusing on the differences instead of what the commonalities are. Now, in the beginning of the month, you could be overflowing with joy, a lot of happiness, um, a lot of optimism, things are really good. But then in the middle of the month, it's almost like, okay, well, actually, wait, why was I feeling good before? Like, what actually makes me happy? How do I provide that for myself? Like, what, how do I need to um, change my surroundings in order to create the vibrational frequency that I want, like how I want to feel? And at the end of the month, you might feel like you don't have a lot of options and a lot of choices. So the best part of the month is that you get super organized. Um, maybe you create a good routine. You know, you're totally in control of a lot more than you think you are this month, which is good because a lot of signs aren't. Um, they're saying things shouldn't be so challenging for you, which is an awesome um, thing to hear, you know, when so many other people have a lot of challenges. And, and that segues us to our biggest challenge of the month, which is not to kind of, um, you know, with all of this independence and like getting your ducks in a row and doing it by yourself, kind of going into hermit mode and closing other people out. Aquarians, you do need your space. This is like a common thing for you. Um, and, you know, you might be what, the kind of person who doesn't text your friends back right away, but they're always still there for you and you know it so you don't have to. Whereas other signs, that's not necessarily the case. But you want to just not withdraw too much within yourself and make sure that you're open um, to other people. So why is that particularly the problem or um, the guidance for this month? And they just go, you know, it shouldn't be that challenging. Um, but it's more that if we don't allow others to give to us, then we don't have much to give to others later. OK, and so for your own good and for the good of others, you need to be a little bit more present and it's hard, but you should be um, for your friends this month. Now, the guidance that they have for you is the same as so many other signs this month. Unconditional love. Don't forget that God, the angels, the universe, whatever you believe is around you, supporting you and loving you no matter what, no, no matter how big of a mistake you made, no matter how shitty of a person you are, okay? And so if you don't always remember that, um, you can just think it in your head, like I need to feel love and support right now. And if you're open to it, you will feel that actually. 
Um, I often ask angels for a hug and then like my body gets warmer and I start giggling when I'm super, super sad. It does actually work that way, but you just have to remember that and ask for that support because it is there for you. Okay, so like I said, Crystal of the Month is Pyrite. I love you so much and I'll see you next month.